And you know why he does that? Because he likes that kinky Slap, sex. I like slapping ass. He likes slapping ass. I don't know if it's men or girls, but he likes slapping ass. So I couldn't tell you. Never been there. It's and girls. Don't want to know. It's girls. I can confirm. It's girls. So how was your sexual date on, over the weekend? I didn't have any sexual dates. Uh, okay. I wish I did. How was your female date? I didn't have any female dates. Wow. So so you're going you're going Q on us, huh? Yep. Hey, I, I forgot to show you the video. You remember? I don't, you might not remember, but you remember? Uh, no, I don't. You might not, but it was a few episodes ago. I don't know. Maybe it was a week and a half ago or so, where you said that you are trisexual. <laughs> remember? Do you remember this? Is this ringing a bell? I thought it was quadruple sexual. You said trisexual. It could have been. What's that mean? I found. I came across a video last night on TikTok. Oh, what does Siri tell you? It was some freaking weirdo bitch. One of these fucking, you know, weirdo motherfuckers that are, they're all over the place now. Was she good looking at least? She claimed. Was no, she a girl? She's fucking hideous. Was she a girl at least? Biologically, yes. So she could have had the switch and got a penis implanted? No. She's, I'll show you the video after we do this. Oh, all right. So you're setting me up with her. Yeah, I should. <laughs> she said that she was trisexual, and, but she broke it down and explained exactly what that means. And she said she's trisexual at all times. So, so break that down for the audience here. What is a trisexual? I think she said I, I forgot exactly. Oh, uh, how the hell you gonna? She said she's attracted to she's to uh, biological girls. So she's attracted to dudes. She's attracted to girls also, and she's attracted to bisexual guys and girls. So she's attracted to basically anything you can come up with. So she's bisexual. and she But she says she's equally attracted, like perfectly equally attracted at all times. So it's not like, oh, she's in the mood for dudes in the morning and chicks in the evening. No. She says at all times she's equally attracted to all of them. I think she's lying. No shit she's lying. Bitch is batshit fucking crazy. No, no. Tri you know what a trisexual is. What's a trisexual? Enlighten us. Uh, and not me. Welcome back to the dictators, by the way. Please like the video. Soup like the, the damn video. Soup to nuts. So, let me explain something to you. Yes. If you're a trisexual, which I'm not. You're not. Okay, thank you, All thank right. you. So, you got men, girls, and dogs. That's bestiality. <laughs> Animals. That's how you get trisexual. How else can you not get trisexual? How else could you not get trisexual? Unless you're doing a, a Aphrodite. Hermaphrodite. Yes. Do you know what a hermaphrodite is? Yeah, they're born with both sexual Genitalia. organs. Yeah. Okay. I mean, right. so, so it's like, okay. I do know. I'm shocked, to be honest with you. I'm I'm rather shocked. Well, they, they put them on the porn you know sites something. like they're a fucking giraffe or something. I don't think I've ever seen one. Have you? I think a lot of times. That's the only. It's very weird to see the, one. That's the only time, honestly, I do. I would support in a child of like picking one gender or the other and like having a surgery. Right. That's the only time. Yes. I, or maybe I, if, I, the, if the kid has like an actual accident and like has like some kind of injury. Where like, like he repairing. pooped in his pants? No, I mean like freaking like falls out of a out of a car, a car accident, and like and it gets its uh, Head? sexual organs um, like uh, injured. I think you get in a car accident, you get stabbed in the freaking through, you know, whatever. You know, you're skipping, but you're just fucking stumbling here. I'm trying to dance around this, to be honest with you, because I don't want to get us banned over this stupid shit. That's why I'm dancing around it. it that's what I'm. That's why I'm not. We being, should. We shouldn't if be. We're getting, off camera. I right, would be. Wait, wait, I would be. We, we, we shouldn't be getting banned so much more about talking about life. But this is the world we're living in. Sadly, it is a sad world. We'll probably get banned for that. I mean, we got banned fucking what? <laughs> oh, there it is. Just got banned another 72 goddamn issues of our goddamn talking. Oh, oh gee, I, I did it again. <laughs> son of son of Jesus. How's that? No, now you're banned for that? You can't be Christian anymore. Well, son of uh, Allah. 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 Watch. They're, they're going to eventually turn on, on the Muslims, too, and come after them. There's nothing that's fucking sacred or safe. Well, you know what I'm having for Thanksgiving? What are you having? That Jewish cracker they make. I don't know what it's And we're canceled again. I can't even talk about a cracker? We can't. No, that's a, that's a racial slur now. Oh, but you're allowed to be racist against white people, no, so that's fine. No, they, they make maffa, masa. Matzo balls. No, no, not masa balls. It's, it's, it's a maffa, I think. I, know, I, oh, I forgot the name a of it. Samatha. Yeah, there was a, it's a Jewish it's cracker a, of some sort. It's a cracker. Sort. I forgot the name of it. And yeah. all of a sudden, you took it into Jewish and white people. Some might, <laughs> some might consider it like a thin bread. 
I know you're talking about though. It's freaking it's matzah. Say it again. Matzah. <laughs> Matzah ball. I think a matzah means, uh, in Jewish, I think it means that in you're Hebrew? you do a good deed for somebody else. I have no Above and beyond. You know, you help somebody else you're out. You're probably wrong, but I have no fucking clue. No, you help somebody else out in life, you know, that you needs are, help. So you're kind of talking about karma? Like, you, you, know, you do no, good that's things not karma. That's called, come back to you? Uh, no, no. The Jewish thing is, I think it's called matzah. Well, call Ryan and find out. I don't know. Why would they call me? I'm not positive on, on the definition of my. Oh, I'm sure you're going to get a lot of hate mail on this crap. I mean, once we get popular. Happy Thanksgiving, fall, everybody. Well, happy Thanksgiving. Even Country Bob telling you like it is. But... This is two days before Thanksgiving to be exactly right. While we're Cause, recording. Because we're trying to avoid all While the recording. all those special traps they have out there for young people. Oh, be aware. Oh, we just got canceled again because we're not allowed to celebrate Thanksgiving. Because that's. What? That's a holiday that freaking uh, uh, celebrates stealing the Indian's land. <laughs> <laughs> I told you there's nothing that's freaking so safe we just, anymore. So we just got canceled again? We got canceled about eight times already. Eight times in eight days. No, eight no eight times within the past, Week. what, six minutes? All right, all right. We need to go blue tube on, uh, blue tube? Uh, on Twitter. Blue check mark? Yeah. We'll get there. I mean, you got to be real here. It's like, it's very amazing that you can't talk about life or reality, but when you have all the government politics in every state and every Congress and every Senate lie to you right from their mouth and, and spin stuff with lawyer terminology words. You know what they are? Liars. Liar. liar. Big time liars. They are professional liars because they get paid to do it. Right. And they're good at it. They all oh, they're that's how they got there. Ask it. I guess we're gonna get banned again. Ask any politician a question, and they're like, they'll skate around the whole question, they're won't spinsters. give you no answer, no nothing. In fact, what they'll do is like you should have been a politician. What they'll do is like here, talk to my will, my wife Jill. She'll yeah. explain it. For you. Oh, we just got banned again. I know we have a president that came and talk for himself. He has his fucking lady talk for him, and she's a dumb broad too. And they call it the doctor. <laughs> She's not any people. These people, I think, freaking. The I don't even bitches, think she's a doctor. The few bitches thought she was a fucking medical doctor and a brilliant one. Yeah, she's a doc. She's a doctor in an education. Has nothing to do with fucking medicine. Nothing to do with medical. Yeah, that's why they call her Doctor Jill. By the way, I don't like even actual like medical doctors. I don't like it when they they call me Doctor So and So. Like they, they they get this high and mighty god complex in their fucking head. Yeah, what happened to God? Uh, god banned oh, again. Oh, there we go. Can't talk about Jesus. God. This whole oh, oh, there it is again. God. Oh, <laughs> I got banned three words out of seven. Uh, Unbe. Whoa, six and nine Mets. I got banned again. <laughs> this is ridiculous life for you people. It's not my problem. I'm dying. You you guys got to suffer the goddamn you consequence. You got another 10 years you keep, to go here. You keep putting all these jackass. Oh, got banned again. You keep putting all these jackass. Oh, banned again. You keep putting all these nice people that you think are nice that are going to do stuff for you. Let me explain something to you in life. I mean, once you get there, I don't care if you're 15, which you don't even care about politics. You're 20. If you care about politics, you really have a something sick inside because most people from 20 to 30... Don't give a shit about politics. You know what they give a shit about? Making money, Getting having laid. sex. Actually, That's no. it. Closed session no. right there. No, it's not closed session. You know why? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, because he's gay. No. Yeah. Oh, banned again. <laughs> the young kids nowadays, especially the boys, they're not focused on getting laid like they used to be. And how do you know this? There's been actual studies that young people are less sexually active now than... Since it recorded history. I think HBO or YouTube or Tubu came out with a new girl, college girls and their sex lives. Are you talking about Girls Gone Wild? No, no. It's a new new thing coming on HBO. Just so, I just seen the advertisement. Well, the girls are more, they're bigger whores than they've ever and, been. And they're going to the bachelor place. What did that call? Where the guys dance with naked? Um, where, where is it? Chippendales type of place. Chippendales. Thing. You, know Male reviews. you know what she says? Oh, we can promote this good because... We are growing green for chip m- naked men. <laughs> I don't know what it means. Climate change, they're going, oh, that's a climate change. We could just put that in the agenda. Going to Chippendales. What? I know. That's what I said. What are you talking about? We're talking about the bird getting the worm. Moving on. 
The young kids are less sexually active now than they've ever been. Why? First, because... No fem- confidence? Because of feminism. And because... Of- well, I can't tell them to go get a sex change. No. Feminism. Yeah. They're Because they're criminalizing men for having sex. And they're empowering women to be whores and sluts. I love that. They're changing the whole natural flow and the natural woman-men dynamic. Well, you know, that's what the Democrats... Oh, uh, and they're again. making women hate men. They're, you know what their new logic is? And this is really foolish. I, I can't believe anybody in their right mind from 17 or 18, I'll say 18 to keep it so we don't get banned, 18 to 30 to 35, at least 30. Yeah. I mean, you, I, I, personally, me and all my friends, all the girls I know and whatever, it's like, you know what? There's two things in life right then. It's like, I'm not going to die. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get have sex as much as I want, and I'll worry about my career at 30. And nothing's going to happen to me. Nothing bad, nothing good. I'm just going to have sex. And that's a good thing to go on. Because once you get after 30, you're going downhill, sagging, and all of those things. And even if you stay in shape and keep the gym, look at me. I'm doing payo and puyo, whatever. Who cares? It's like. The fuck are you talking about? I don't know. I was just waiting for you to interfere. (laughs) I thought you were going to make a point here, but you I was trying to. One. Yeah, well, hey, you, do you even know the point that you're trying to make? Yeah, if you're not having sex from eighteen to thirty, you got big problems because you just passed your prime. If you got laid by two girls, what does this have to do with our fucking conversation? What was the conversation? I've totally lost there. We were talking about how young people aren't getting laid anymore. Why is on, that? On, 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 they're getting laid a little bit, but they're getting laid at much lower rates and numbers than ever before. You you know what? You're right, because I remember this job site we were working at. Yeah. And we sit there at break. Yeah. Lunch. Yeah. And, and afternoon break. Yeah. And even afternoon break with drinking break. And then what happened is like, we sit there and like, and every now and then you see a girl walking with a pair of shorts on her, like the little cheeks were hanging out on both ends. And we're like, there goes the walk of shame. Down the road. That's usually more in the morning than it was in the afternoon. Walk of shames are typically more of a morning activity. But I got to tell you, you don't see that as often as you used to. Which part? The walk of shame? Yeah. Do you even know what the walk of shame really is? You forgot who the fuck you... There we go. We got banned again. You you forgot who you had sex with that night? No. You forgot their names? No. You forgot who you are? No. You don't need to ride home. Well, what the hell is it? You should... You should be hitting the button. The walk of shame is when you hook up with another person, you're at their place the next morning, it's time to go home, and you're still wearing the clothes. Obviously, you're going out clothes the night before. And obviously, you're you're walking home. It's called the walk of shame because everybody knows that you just got fucked the night before and you're walking home with your head down because the whole the whole neighborhood knows that you, you just got fucked. Why would your head be down? As a girl. Why? Because it's not good. It's It's shameful for a girl to be a slut. That's why. I never fucking shameful girl that was a slut. I was happy. Yeah, but it's it's not a good thing for a girl to be a slut. It's not something to be proud of. It's not a good attribute for a girl to be a slut. It, they're fun. They're fun from a partying standpoint. Well, you know what? But I, it is not something I, to be... If you are a girl, I, I, you gonna, should not be proud of that. I, I'm going to disagree with you. Why? Not the part of the name calling. The part that, hey... If she's sexually active because she loves sex, it's like there's nothing to be putting her down and making fun of her and giving yeah. her names. I don't I don't believe in that, oh, personally. 100% I mean, they should be shamed. What are you talking about? You just call them a slut. Yeah, I said I stand behind that. 100% they should be shamed. Why? Because they're fucking sluts. And it's not good. Women, it's causing a downfall of society. So you're telling me any girl that has, is sexually active, that has a lot of fun with whatever, as long as she's pr- practicing safe sex and... So on and so it's not on. about that. What is it about? It's about having a good time when you're 20. About having a good time when you're 25. Fuck, once you hit 30, you're done. There ain't no sex. You're having babies and then, honey, oh, our marriage sucks. Oh, let's have another baby it's and about see if we can downfall. fall back in love. It's about the downfall of society. That's what it's about. Well, that's why they're letting everybody over the fence. That has nothing to do with this conversation. Well, where are we going here? I'm making a point 
that it's not good for a woman to be a slut. That's not something to be proud of. That's not something that should be okay. People should Don't not, get me wrong. I have fun with people them. People should not make fun of women who love sex. They should not be sluts. And they shouldn't, you shouldn't be calling them that. Do, yes, I should. Do you know what the number one factor, the number one <laughs> predicating factor for a girl once she's in a serious relationship, the number one factor for her either cheating on you or leaving you or starting to have relationship issues from the girl's standpoint? You know what the number one factor is? Sex. No, do you know what the number one factor is from her past? Bisexualism. No. The number one factor, because you're, you're just going to keep dancing around like a moron. The number one factor is a girl has had too many sexual par- partners in her past. That is the number one factor by far. So your problem is, if you ever ran into her, it's like a jar of mayonnaise. No, that has nothing to do with it. <laughs> Are you sure? It has nothing to do with it. Tell me what it has to do with it. Because women have, have sex emotionally. They, they have what? Sex emotionally. They get emotionally attached to the men they have sex with. As they are supposed to. That's, as they biologically should. That's when should. you did their cherries. I'm having, I'm having a conversation with a fucking moron here. Now we got banned again. When are you going to hit the button, jackass? I don't have a banned button. You got plenty of canceled them. button. Unbelievable. This guy... Uh, I don't know. Right. Emotional damage. That's why girls have emotional damage from having too many sexual partners and they have attachment issues. And, and a woman, so a you're woman, a psychologist now. Yes, a woman should attach herself to her man that she's gonna be a, you know, a wife of, raise kids with, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. She should emotionally attach to that man. That's right. Because, but I agree. When, when a woman I has agree. had too many sexual partners in her past, she has attachment issues where she is not capable anymore of emotionally attaching to a good man. That is the problem. So and, that, and that's, and that's destroying stop, families. Stop yelling. And families have, throughout the history... You don't get excited. Families throughout history... Bring it down. Families throughout You're history... fucking my ears up. Fuck your ears. Families... Throughout, now we got banned again. Families throughout history have been the core nucleus of a solid society, of a good society. Well, you, you know what they used to call women of the night back, back, in, to back in the 1600s? Families. You know what they used to call them in the 1600s? Witches. Oh <laughs> fuck! He stumped me on that. He got it right. Unfucking believable. You know what? We're gonna have to take a break, short break after this message, because he got it right. And he fucked me. We went back 400, 500 years, and he said, "Which is now they call them whores." That's and not sluts. right. I like them. They are fun. Rec- for fun. Recreational. Wait, 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 wait. You think we're going to the state park? This is fun. This is recreation. I'll be honest. It's, I'll be honest. It's like going to one of those porn places that, that got the movies in the little stalls, and then they got all the sluts and girls in there, and you get one. <sighs> all right. Where are we going? Back to normal. Here we go. He's gonna I'll be honest. He's, he, my he, life don't be, be honest. My life would be much better. Tell the truth. And happier if it wasn't for feminism, sluts, women sport fucking all over the place. Sport what? Sport fucking. What is that? That's what guys do. You just wait, fuck all over the place. Wait, 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 wait. I never heard this term in my lifetime. I told you this. I, I've said this before you on call the podcast. It, what do you, you call it? Sport fucking? Sport fucking. So that's when a guy does a guy. It has not, no, it's not a gay term. Oh, oh, well, I didn't know. I mean, you, you goddamn people keep changing shit. Sport fucking is casual sex. It's just another term for casual sex. Oh, you mean vanilla. Casual sex. That's vanilla sex. No. For a guy that claims he is like you're a self-proclaimed, self-proclaimed man whore. Oh, now he's calling me a whore too. It's on <laughs> fuck. Here we go. Now I'm in the category with for, all you girls. Thank you a lot, you girls. For a self, uh, here I am, stick, self-proclaimed man whore. You I, seem I am, to not know anything about sexual terminology. Uh, here I am, sticking up for all the women in the world, and now I'm enjoy. Now I'm enjoying the same name calling. He's calling me a slut. Men can't be sluts. I feel good about it. Men can't be sluts. Whores. They can't be whores. Prostitutes. They can be prostitutes. Men of the night. <laughs> There's no... <laughs> nobody's called a man of the night. A well, uh, Chippendale dude. Do you think men could be sluts? 
There are a lot of guys that are sluts. They can't be sluts, though. What are they? What are they? Come on, psychiatrist. The man. The man. They can't be sluts, though. As long as you're poking her and she's happy, there's nothing to be sad about. You have zero understanding of fucking Life? male-female dynamics. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. I think in the 70s they said women were from Mars and men were from vaginas. Isn't that how it goes? No, there is a book that was put out. And it was men from Mars? Women are from Venus, men are from Mars. No, 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 no. You you got it all twisted. Women are from Mars, men are from vaginas. Where'd you come from? That's not the name of the fucking book. (laughs) I got him again. You are. You know what you are? I keep stumping him off. stupid. I, I'm trying to do my best, Vato. You stupid. Vato. You are stupid. It all started when I was a little kid. What happened when you were a little kid? We've gone over this. We're going to leave it out there. Yeah, I know. Fucking, you played in mosquito poison. I think this fucking hat is too tight. Country Bob's getting a headache. There's a lot of... Th- I'm getting a headache. I, 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 you know what I think's Same going on? Hat. I think my blood pressure's rising. Why? Uh, the extra partner I got is right, getting I want to move on for this because I'm fucking getting frustrated. So, let's tell the people about how horny of a horn dog you are. Who? You. Never been horny in my life. Thank you. Waitress just came in and get, brought me another alcoholic beverage here. Let's tell the people that at the time that we put a... Uh, put what a, in? A, yeah, we installed a door at a barbershop slash beauty salon. <sighs> this is after the floods in New Jersey on 202. It was after a big storm and the place got flooded out. Yeah, cetera, like six cetera, feet. Cetera. Couldn't believe the place was still there. Doesn't matter. This is where Ryan gets his haircuts. He looks like beaver. Well, you get to the fucking story. That doesn't, none of that matters. We weren't hired to install a new front door. And I did all the work. And, and the first thing happens, right? I'm going to fix the door and his employer comes out and like, it looks like he just got out of prison. Go on. That has nothing to do with nothing. What isn't that what happened? This is what happened. Oh, oh, the guy accused me of jetting out of prison. And I said, "Fuck this job." No. Oh, they just First got all, banned again. That was the customer's tenant. That wasn't even the customer. I know those people were fucking assholes. Oh, and what they did came he out, t- Give a shit. What did he they, say? They, what did he say? They said that he looks like he just got out of jail. That's me. He said prison. He didn't say jail. Big fucking whoop did he do, dog? Can't you just go with the flow of the story? You really think that affects the story if he said prison or if he said jail? Difference is, I I, I understand. I can't say it when I want to say that I said because then I'll get banned again. So the guy comes out, Twitter me, says that shit to him, then yells at us to hurry up. He gets pissed. Oh, who did? You got pissed. Oh, I didn't get pissed. You you threw your ar- your hammer down. You said, I'm fucking out of here. Fuck this guy. That's what I said. And then I got pissed. Not at you, but I got pissed at that guy because he's, he's giving me shit to hurry up. I said, listen, you're not the one paying me. You ain't the one to hire me. You better shut your mouth. I will do it. We will take care of it. But if you keep going, I ain't doing shit. We're out of oh, here. And then he bird dogged you. No. And then I said. Yeah, and then what happened when he, they started bird dogging us yeah. after after they calmed down and said, "Oh, wait I'm a sorry, minute, blah, blah, blah. they weren't bird dogging you; they were both bird of us. dogging the prison both dude. Both of us. That's we right. Were working, we were working two feet from each other. That's right. Bird dogging both of us. I'm a bad man. Bird dogging me like they were standing there, freaking watching us work, staring at, literally just standing there, arms folded, staring right at us. And these were hoarders. They were. So, and then what happened when they did that? I told you I was leaving too. I said, "Fuck this." And oh, I, I, oh, I got banned again. And then I stopped, I turned, and I started staring at them. Oh, yeah, Ryan. Stop working. When, when Ryan gives them the stare, it's like you can feel your ass starting to fucking you heat up. You don't want me staring at you, I'll tell you that much. Oh, yeah. El Bounzo, El Rocco, El Rhino. You need to learn some Spanish. <laughs> okay, Vato. There you go. <laughs> what does Vato mean? Uh, exactly. So let's... <laughs> <laughs> you stupid hey, Come on, El Macho Man El Vato means You stupid Is that what El Vato means? I have no clue what it actually means But that fits this situation Come on, homie No, you stupid I used to know what beer was in Stop Spanish it. Get some help So, let's go back I'd rather talk right, to- So, we got past this bullshit They finally left us alone and Got off our ass They fucking left This, that, and the other Whatever Fuck them They're pieces of shit 
So then we move on. That was the building had that was like a residence area. The building had a residence area. So now we're installing the door at the actual salon and booby booby shop, beauty shop. So we start installing the door, and then the beauty shop opens up. And she customers comes over start, and hits on me. Customers start coming. And what do you do? Well, you got to remember. And these, this is, these are old, 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 old ladies. These women are attractive. There was an 85-year-old bitch came coming up with a fucking walker. I asked her if she needs some help. Walkway. I asked her if she needs some help. What's the big deal? You asked her out on a fucking date. And, 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 and then what happened? Easy on the voice. What happened? Well, she gave me her phone number when you weren't looking. And then she says, "And I'd rather be a lesbian. I'm tired of men. He got turned down by the 85-year-old wrinkly, raggedy-ass bitch with a walker. Well, not once. I think I got turned down four times that day with all these old ladies. <laughs> it's amazing. They said, I've had enough of my men. And it's like, and then, and then I asked him the truthful question, is he still alive? And they're like, oh, no, he died 15 years ago. It's like, goes to show all you guys what you got to look forward to. Any woman that lives past 60, that's it. That is it. You ain't living past 65. And then the one that you probably could have hooked up with, you didn't fucking make a, make a move at. Ah, I was just having a good time. You got turned down by like three or four 80-year-olds. This is what happens when you live or, or work for old people. What did that do to the ego? Oh man, it shot down. It's like I still got old sneakers on. Did you go home and cry that night? I think I did. I think I, I had a lot of tears. I got a bottle of scotch and I just cried into the bottle. That had to be a low point in life. That would be a low point in my life. Well, you know what? I, I was thinking I'm going to start doing this new th new idea I'm coming up with. It's like all the senior citizens, so I'm going to start standing out there with a sign. We'll have sex for food. And I bet you I get invited in. What do you think? I mean, you stupid. Uh, oppose, supposedly, all these old lady homes, there's a lot of sex going there's on. There's more there. VD in those places than there is anywhere else. Well, I've heard there's that means they're fucking. I've heard there's VD and what's that other one called? You don't even know what VD is. What's Vet, VD? Veterinarian disease. That's when it's stupid. That's when a dog bites you in the leg and then you don't get it treated with a tetanus shot. You get VD. What? Is wrong with you? Isn't that right? No. Are you kidding wrong. me? How, wrong. How the hell is that wrong? Have you ever been bitten by a dog? That is not what VD is. That's how that's wrong. That's not fucking what VD is. It's veterinarian disease. Wrong. Oh, my God. I really feel sad for this guy. He doesn't have a clue on life. The poor guy is... Oh, he's not homeless, so he's... he's <coughs> Oh, I took a little dog. He's not homeless. But the problem he has is oh my God. he's looking for a woman to have babies. He yes, needs, I would like to find a good woman to have kids. He with. wants Bambino 1 and Bambino 2. Ideally, I'd like to have like three or four. But So any of, you, any of you women coming across the goddamn river down in Texas. No. So back he want to get hooked VD, up with Bambino Ryan. Where you get off on these stupid fucking tangents that mean nothing? VD means venereal disease. Whatever you want to call it. I That's what it fucking means. That's just a fact. I can't help you have herpes. <laughs> so how does that feel though? What part? The herpes? Getting, getting turned down by 85 year olds. Well, it's not too bad because you know they can't last anyway. You know what? Speaking and then of to add insult to injury, hey, let me let me ask you're you. Running your mouth, yippity yapping, yippity yap the whole time. Run your mouth to everybody. The barber gets pissed off, comes out and scared the fuck out of me because he's yep. he's a I think he's, he's a, bigger than me. I think he's a foot taller than right. He's like seven no, foot no. six, and he told he's us, seven. and he says, "You guys ain't funny. Shut the f, f up." I, I, this one I, I did yeah. right. You shut the hell up before I come out there and beat your ass. Oh, ah, beat no. your. And, and, and the next thing you know, I was like, I'm out of here. That's it. The guy yelled at me. No, and it, Ryan goes, ha, 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 ha. Horrible he was pulling your leg. You are a horrible storyteller. I don't want to tell a story. I want to tell the truth. I feel like I'm in court. I always tell the truth. That's right. Don't remember.
Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? Hey, what's the name of our show? I forgot. The Dictators. Oh, yeah, this is The Dictators, so remember Did that. Did you really forget? Yes, I forgot. It, it all started when I was a little boy. You stupid. When I put my... No, I can't say that because I'm going to get fucking banned just for that one. It's probably funny as hell. Anyway, so what else you got to say? So let me ask you a serious question about sex. All right. Have you had sex with women? Yes. Gorgeous women? Yes. We're not talking women that are 300 pounds like you. Yes. So he thinks gorgeous. Anyway, that's a compliment to all you 300 pounders out there, like little whales. So have you ever... It is what it is. It is what it is. Have you ever had sex that lasted two, three hours? What the fuck is that? That's what I was asking. Have you had sex with a woman that last two, three hours? No. Wow. So you, you never had sex where you were totally sweating like you were in the shower? Two to three hours of continuous... Listen, two you're, to, not, you're, you're, missing, three. you're missing the question here. It could be an hour and a half, okay? It could be an hour. Okay. What I'm asking you is do you ever have sex with a woman Yes. and you're soaking wet by the time you're done? Sweaty? Yes. No, no, uh, uh, sperm. <laughs> yeah, of course sweaty. Yes. Totally. Yes. From your toes to your fucking top of your head. Yeah, like you got some good cardio going. <sighs> yeah. And then she brings in the face cloth and cleans you up. So that has happened to you. Yes. Is it good? Yes. What kind of sex you call that? Good sex. All right, everybody remember that. It's good sex you start sweating. You know what I call it? Oh, geez, here he goes. Here he goes. Emotional damage. Emotionally damaged woman. Where are we going with this? Is that it? I is that it. all you had? Well, I, I, <laughs> I thought this was a setup question for something it, further. It, it was a setup question. But you but forgot I, where you were going. No, I just didn't want to embarrass you on live TV. First of all, it's not live. Second of all, you when have you stopped and see yourself from embarrassing me? All right, okay. So this is your first time to embarrass me while I'm gone. Where are you going? Oh, he's writing a book. Thank the fucking Lord. Country Bob's having a problem here. That is the gayest hat in America. I can't believe you didn't bring me a fucking I'm surprised water. it does have a rainbow flag and a fucking cock dildo off coming off the top of it. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> hey, girl, like, ride my head. <laughs> Let me head fuck you, bitch. What do you mean we're all come up with this crap? What? That would slam the door. Such a jackass. This guy is king jackass. Like, there is no higher level of jackassery than this guy. He has the crown. He has the gold medals. He has the Lifetime Achievement Award in jackassery. He is the one that that TV show and subsequent movies were made off of. He is the real-life jackass. There is nothing this man has not done in his life. All bad, of course. He's done very, very, very little actual good in this world. Very few contributions. He's mostly sucked the juices out of society. Sucked the life out of fucking people. Made people's lives worse. Brought everything fucking down. Bringing down the system. The bad, I mean the good part of the system, not the bad system. Anything that's been good in society, he's fucking pulling it down. Like he's... Like earlier, he's talking about that it's okay to be a slut. It is not okay by any means necessary to be a slut. Liar! It is never a good thing to be a slut. Liar! That is a very... Women, stop being sluts. Carry yourself with some fucking dignity. Find yourself a good man. Be loyal to him and what stop you, sport fucking all over the what place. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to build a better society. Women... Well, yeah, sluts will quit, and where are the men? What are you talking about? I just, I just said it. Where are sluts the men? have always been fucking shamed. In the Bible, it, it says women oh, should not be sluts. With the Bible now. Yes. Wow. Women should not. It is never a good thing for a woman to be a slut. It is not a good thing at all. All right. Any of you women out there, that's Ryan's view. If you're a slut and you like me, give me a call. No. I said, don't get me wrong. I will have my fun. Oh, oh, oh. Now, 
But do you know why? Wait, wait, wait. Double you know stand. Why, he doesn't like sluts, but he'll take one home. But no, you want to hear why? Why what? Do you want to hear why or no? Or you just you just want to fucking be an asshole? Yeah, tell me why you like sluts. No, the reason why <laughs> I hook up with sluts and I have fun is because it it it, uh, it keeps me from dwelling on the fact that I don't have a good woman by my side to to grow with and to have a family with. That's fucking why. So it kind of keeps my mind off of shit. So what's all with the heavy breathing over there? Why are you? Why are you gay? What is wrong with you? If I was gay, you'd be getting pegged here instead of having a conversation. What? <laughs> you are sick. <laughs> oh, that's getting banned. Are you sure about that? No. <laughs> Uh, that's a lie, <laughs> thousand percent. So don't ever bring that up again. <laughs> Who brought it up? Well, you know what? It's like, hey, I never been to the clubs you've been to. You kiss your mother with that mouth. <laughs> I, you know what? That that's a that's a line for a girl. You kiss your mother with that mouth. You you don't know what that mouth has been. I never knew what my ex girlfriend's mouth was been. That's why I never kissed her after fifteen years later. Why would you stay with her? Don't even bring this shit. I don't want to talk you about this. It up. It's Thanksgiving. I don't want. Let's talk you about. You brought her up. Is anybody? Who brought her up? Is anybody going to Ryan's house for Thanksgiving? Who brought her up? And let me tell you how he's going to cook the turkey. He's going to get two Cornish hens, a crock pot, and throw them in there with the paper on them, and then cook them all together. Like I got dinner ready for everybody. I'm a crock pot man. It looks like you're getting a little pissed. You're rubbing into your hands there. What's going get, on? I have to warm my fucking hand up to smack you. So I get good fucking contact uh, and you, friction. Uh, what, what part are you what trying pain? to smack? I'm trying to fucking knock you out. I'm yeah. trying to smack your ass. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a long time before that happens. But anyway, let me know how it's going to go, okay? I'll let you know how it went after I'm fucking waking you up with smelling salts. Smelling what? Salts. Usually when I wake up, I smell vagina. I don't smell salts. You probably do smell vagina because that's what you got. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah, he, he got me on that one. And I got a vagina. I'm a man with a vagina. And it stinks. No, I do shit all the time. <laughs> so you do have a pussy. You believe what you want to believe. You just admitted it. I didn't admit shit. You just said you do shit all the time. No, I said you douche all the you time. You said you douche it all the time. No, 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 no. You, you're, you're misconstruing the words. Well, let me wind that back for you. We'll, we'll wash this back and we'll show that I'm right. Yeah, he's always right. Yes, of course. He's like he's like Joe Biden. He's always right. No. That guy can't wipe his ass. Same problem you got. I don't have that problem. So how's Hook Knife doing? <laughs> hook Knife? <laughs> The female pirate. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, we're going to let that go. We are going to let that go because I don't know what the fuck you mean. Because if we bring something up like that again, he won't get laid. What are you talking about? He has this, he's like one of those people that belong, high society, that belong to a, a sexual club. We have to have a special... What, like a Bohemian Grove or something? What's a Actually, I probably, we should probably what, shouldn't talk about that. What the hell's a Bohemian Grove? You never heard of that? Is this where you belong to? No. Is this for old people? I mean, there are some old people there, but that's not, it's not like for old people. Is this where you've seen the girl do the donkey? No, that's where you, you're the one that's been to Tijuana. So you've seen the guy do the donkey. <laughs> Which one is it? I don't know. You tell me. You saw the show. Wait, wait. I... What was the name of that club you say you, you, you're involved with? All right, he's not going to say the Oxnard Club. What? I don't know. I've never been in a club of that. I'd be curious to go. The Oxnard Club? I, I'd be curious to go, no, but, no, but not what... with you. With two girls on my arms to fucking protect me. No, the Oxnard. That's where I had a good story with a chick. And? So, I go out. And this is California. Oh, here we go. California. Yep. So I I go out to a bar. It's actually this is actually in Ventura, technically. So go out to a bar in Ventura by myself because I'm on vacation. Find some girl and start flirting with her. Start flirting back and forth or whatever. Start you know making out that type of bullshit. So then freaking and then, you know they're close. So to the you're club. sucking face at the bar. Yes. Unbelievable. What kind of bars you go to? Get, get, go on. 
We'll hear more. You stupid. Hand slips some of the dress. Let's go. Oh, she doesn't wear a dress. She's got a penis. <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> I just told you. Come on, let's go on. Tell us more. So you're at this gay bar, and you got this girl you're sucking face with that you think's a girl. So tell us more. I'm, I'm very curious here. So I'm going to ignore him for now. I'm going to talk to you guys. All right, I'm going to let him tell his story. So we're making out of this, that, and the other. So at the end of the night, they're closing the bar, yada, yada, yada. That's where I'm going. So she wants me to take her home. I'm like, all right, sounds good to me. I like that plan. Go out, get in the car, get her in the car. Halfway to her place, she freaking passes out. I mean, like, out fucking cold in the car. Like, fucking done. I'm shaking. I don't know where the fuck we're going. Zero fucking clue. I hardly know the area. No idea. I'm shaking her, shaking her, shaking her. So he's driving around with a dead body. Go ahead. I was telling the fucking story. Oh, I'm, so I'm sorry. shaking her, shaking her, shaking her. So, I mean, this bitch is out fucking cold. So I'm like, what? I had two options at this point, and I was seriously contemplating the, the first one. Doesn't Taylor Swift have a song the out there, one, Shaky, Shaky, was, Shaky? I was contemplating just pulling over to the side of the road, opening the fucking door, and just giving her the old fucking Evo. Oh, and oh my out. God. I it, was seriously This is on video. I was seriously contemplating. It's another this. murder going on. But then the... But then, like, the uh, shit popped in my head. I'm like, this is how, like, fucking people get arrested for fucking, like, like I kicked her off on the side of the road. Somebody else comes along, murders her. I get blamed because, like, my DNA is fucking on her or some bullshit. Yeah, his DNA is in so her that vagina. that shit popped in my fucking head. So I'm like, ah, maybe I should try to fucking find out where this bitch lives. I never so, heard this story. So I go, I find her, I go look in her fucking purse. I find her fucking license <sighs> to find her fucking address. Find her address. I'm like, all right, put that shit in GPS. Take fucking go to the address, pull up to a motherfucking trailer park of all fucking places. So he got lucky with a trailer park girl. Fucking legitimate, full on fucking trailer park. So I drive into the trailer park. That shit was good, wasn't it? And I couldn't see the fucking numbers on these fucking units. So I, at one point, so I had to fucking park to get out to get closer because I couldn't see the numbers. I wanted, at this point, I was done with this bitch. I just wanted her to get home. You were looking for her mama. Go ahead. So I get out. I was smart enough to turn the fucking car off and take the keys with me because I'm like, if this bitch comes to and steals the car, th- this is fucking next level shit. Got the keys. It sure sounds so like I, it. So I walk around. I, look, uh, I had to walk around the corner to look at Did a couple have a of the trailer numbers to find the number where she lives. Tell us the truth. I come back out around the corner. And she's back gone. Back to the car. The passenger door is open. She is right in the middle. Of, there's like, you know, like the, the streets going through there. She is smack dab in the middle of the street, fucking pants down, squatted down in the middle of the street, just fucking pissing away, pussy fucking lips flapping in the wind. I'm like, how the fuck did my life come to this shit? How am I in a trailer park taking a girl home that passed out? And he did and this she's check. Fucking, and she's pissing in the middle of the fucking driveway. And you did this girl. I didn't do her. And then on top of it being a trailer park. Get out of here. On top of it being a trailer park. So I found out which unit was hers. Liar. Drove her up to it. Liar. And so she says, Liar. oh, freaking. She says, oh, you're my, oh, there was like a light on her. So I was like, oh, listen, my mom's home. Oh, like, you live with your mom in a fucking trailer park? This is how low this guy goes. So all you girls out there, you could pick this oh, dude I up goes, anywhere. What do you mean low? I, I, was, I was done with that bitch. Oh, done. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, you know what she says? Done. I didn't do her. I didn't. I didn't fuck her. I put her in my van. I didn't have a van. She passed out. It wasn't a van. What'd you do her in? I didn't do her. How are you? Why can't you tell the truth about your sexual encounters? Maybe, I am telling the truth. You sure it wasn't a chick with flopping lips when she's peeing? It could have been a dude with a big, long penis. She was a female. How do you know? Because I saw her pussy lips flopping around when she was peeing in the middle of the street. So you know the words, she pulled the dress up, put her ass up in the air to you, and then you're like, oh, those, those. I've been looking for them she, all. She had her pants around her ankles, and she was squatted, fucking pissing. I saw everything. And you didn't do her? What about the scenario says, oh, that sounds like a girl I want to fuck? Sounds like a goddamn match made in heaven. It sounds like she'd have your babies. And this is why you don't have any kids and you're not married. Thank God for that. <laughs> probably get probably get censored for saying thank God. Thank God. What's the other guy's name? Well, Allah means God. Thank Allah. 
Halalala. Well, God does have a name. Which one? Halalulu? God. No, the other one's for like the uh, Muslims. Do you know what God's name is? What's the Muslim name? The, the, Sheree. Allah. Halah. This uh, is for Halah. Allah. He did this for Halah. Allah. Oh, he did this for Allah. Yeah. He, so, so he drove this girl around two, three hours in, in California. He didn't know. Take her to a trailer park and doesn't get any. And, and Let me ask hey, wait, wait. And his final line was, of course, from her was, here we go. Ready for it? My mom is home. <laughs> Mommy! Let's see where your standards are. At oh, that geez. point, would you have still wanted to slash tried to bang her at that point? I, I don't even think I would have got the ride home. You know, I'm banging her in the parking lot. Or her fucking, she's in a walking. crowded parking lot? Why would it be crowded? Because it's at the end of the night and a bar's letting out. Who cares? I'm getting my shit on. That's in a crowded parking lot. Who where, cares? Where there's security and cops around. Oh, now he's got security and cops. See how he adds stuff in that he never said before? It's in like a bar infested area. A bar infested? <laughs> bar infested wait, 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 area. wait, wait. Is this is this high crime or low crime? It's like why well, medium. Well, are, are you talking like the son of Sam's gonna show up and fucking blast me in the head? You know how it is in an area that has a lot of bars at the end of the night, they usually have a decent amount of cops around because of the fact that there's usually a lot of fights and a lot of bullshit going on. Well, because you know what? Drunk. In my day and age, since I'm young still. That didn't happen. Usually it was like there was no cops around. Get in a fight. You got in a bar fight. People hit each other with bottles. The cops come. Everybody run. End of story. Oh, the cops came. No, no, I didn't call the cops. I didn't say you got all the cops. I'm saying, oh, so there were cops around. When there's a big fight in the parking lot, and you're, you're destroying people's cars with bottles or rocks that you're missing the other person. You're throwing them out. I, I have no idea. I never got in those kind of fights. I got in fights that I always won. That's the difference. I use psychology. Why are you so ugly? I use psychology. That's why. Because <laughs> you always won your fights? Many stitches have happened in my process of life. Ain't that the damn truth? <sighs> Hello, girls. <laughs> yeah, haircut. Yeah, my hair is getting long. Look at that. It's like the left tonsil, left the right tonsil. Uh, anyway, so let me ask you a question. Yeah. I forgot what the question was. Because you're. Because you know why? What about your inner beauty you You're have? You're stupid. What about the inner beauty you have? What about it? Do you have inner beauty? Yes, of course. And what do you consider inner beauty? A uh, good heart, good soul, good intentions. You're a kind person. <laughs> Say that again. What's your inner beauty? I want to hear it one more time. I'm a nice guy. I'm handsome. Well, that's outer beauty. I'm a nice guy. I have a good heart. I have empathy for other people. Empathy. I have sympathy for people who have been through things. And I like to help people out when they need a helping hand. So what are you doing for Thanksgiving, helping people out this week? I'm feeding the poor. You're invited over, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and he cooks his turkey in a crock pot. Don't tell anybody. I don't took, I don't cook my turkey in a crock pot. He calls a corner shine of turkey, so don't worry about it. It's okay. I'm not cooking that. What are you not cooking? I'm not cooking corn. You don't shen. even know how to cook. You don't even have a kitchen table. How do you know I, if I know how to cook or not? How do you know? Rashid told me. I'll tell you one thing. I have evidence that you don't know how to cook. I'm waiting for my girl to come in. You gave me some the worst steak I ever had in my fucking life. I oh, almost here threw we up. go. Never lived almost this Almost threw up. Uh, yeah. And I love steak. Yeah, right. I almost threw up. Me too. Because you showed up. That was fucking terrible steak. Not mine. Mine was cooked. That's probably the worst steak I've ever had. Oh, my God. He's going to bitch all day. Unreal. Diners have better steaks. Diners have better coffee. I have great fucking coffee. <laughs> yeah, if you can get the pot underneath the fucking thing. That was a defect in my device, mind. Which I no longer listen, own. I've thrown it out. Listen, I've replaced listen, it with listen, one that works. Listen, we've gone over this crap before. Then why do you keep bringing it up when you know the truth? Why do I keep bringing it up? He gets stink- You're stupid. He gets stinky pussy. Oxford pussy. Didn't even get an Oxford. You, you shut the fuck up. I bet 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 you die in a I, fire. I, I, I bet you the Oxford girl asked him for tissues so I should wipe her. You're the only motherfucker that argues with a fucking meme. Who's a meme? 
These are all memes. I, I don't mean so it. The audio is from the memes. Well, you know, it's hard to tell. It almost sounded like you. Did you see my mouth moving? Oh, God. Now, now, now he wants to talk about sex again. What is that bell for? What do you keep bringing the bell for? There's supposed to be a couple dancing girls You want out your there. head wrong? Because I can take care of that for you. Oh, boy. You see this meanness he has in him? This is what you're looking for. What's if you... your inner beauty? My inner beauty? Yeah, what's your inner beauty? Do, Sex... First of all, do you have any? Sex appeal. Do you have inner beauty? Do you have any inner beauty? I can make any girl's bells ring. Do you have any inner beauty? Yeah, my penis. Inner. Well, it goes in and out. That's inner beauty. What kind of dick are you working with? <laughs> If I hit bump them, usually their mouth opens and it comes out a little bit. You How come we could never have a real conversation without you saying this is like outlandish, dumbass shit? You know, after I graduated from Oxford, this is the crap I have to listen to. Where is Oxford? My university. Where is it? England. Holy shit. I did not expect you to get that one. I'm kind of shocked. I was a medical doctor, dear. For, <laughs> no, you weren't. I was doing vagina surgery. You've never fucking been out of the U.S. aside from Tijuana. I was doing. <laughs> vag- I was doing vagina surgery down in Tijuana too. <laughs> you were not. You were doing donkey surgery. <laughs> Till I seen the donkey thing, and I was like, I got to get out of this town. You have never been outside of the U.S. outside of aside from. What Tijuana. What are you talking about? I've been in Mexico. Aside from Tijuana. That's true. I ain't going to lie to you. So I thought you graduated from Oxford. Next, you're going to ask me if I get laid in Tijuana. Yes, I did. Did you get laid in Tijuana? Yes, I did. Was it a hooker? No, it was a girl that was able to show a Budweiser bottle all the way up her ass. <laughs> That's not a hooker? Well, she didn't show me the other side. That's the girl in the donkey show. It could have been. I don't know. So you fucked a girl that had fucked a donkey. No, 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 no. The donkey was across the street. I mean, whether she did it a day it, or two before, it's so who by, knows? It's so by fact, so you have fucked a donkey. Well, now you know there's a new species out there. A junkie? No, a jackass. <laughs> a junkie, a Joe donkey. A jackanass. Donkeys are jackasses, you jackass. Right, so what else you got for Thanksgiving? What do you got going on? What are you going to do this weekend? What am I going to do this weekend? Yeah. I'm going to do a lot of things this weekend. We're probably going to no- film another episode. No, you're probably going to call the cops on me. I know what you're going to do. Why am I calling the cops on you? It keeps you busy. What are you talking all about? All that money we got coming in, it's like, and all of a sudden, it's like, I got to get rid of them. Instead of killing them, I'll have them arrested. What are you talking about? Why is it, what am I talking about? I'm talking about many things in life. Why can't you answer? What is wrong with you? Stop it. Get some help. All right, what about the best pussy lips you ever had in your mouth? What? What about the best pussy lips you ever had? What are the best pussy lips? Neatly, Describe them. Neatly trimmed. You mean the hair? Oh, that's got to be shaved. There's no doubt about it. If it ain't bald on the backside, front side. The back, if I, if I, the girl has a hairy ass, I'm gone. That's it. What about a landing strip? Oh, it's got to be very small. Like short, you mean? Very short, very small. Because you have a small dick, so you need a small strip. That's it. And it can't land and get and, and parachute in unless it sees the strip. If you had a big dick, you need a wide landing well, strip. Well, what about the girl who has a bit of clitoris? A big clitoris? Yeah. You know, like a big head? I'm gay. And then you are sucking on it, and all of a sudden it grows. Oh, you do it. suck on it, don't you? You do like them big clits to suck on. <laughs> Most of the girls would love that shit. You know how the clit actually is, right? Yeah, it's right there between the legs. A little head up, oh. but it's buried between the lips. When a baby's forming, they all start out as female. No kidding. No and shit. Oh, so you finally ma- found that, that out. The ones that form in the males, what was the clit becomes the dick. I see where this is going. So... You're gay because you like <laughs> sucking dick. There it is. <laughs> if I suck a clitoris, all of a sudden, I'm gay. 
No, you said you like sucking the big clitoris. That's not what I said. <laughs> That's exactly what you said. You word know, for word. How the hell you change this shit around when it was all about you? Now it's about me. Because you're gay. I'm gay. Why are you gay? It all started when I was a little boy. <laughs> what happened when you were a little boy? What turned you gay? What turned you gay, Joe? I, I am stuck for words on this <laughs> crap. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's turned me gay. You just said it started when you were a little boy. Oh, oh, I know what turned me gayish. What? Well, I've never stepped that direction ever in my lifetime, but my ex girlfriend Diane sure makes you think maybe you're better off if you could stand so much pain and torture by a woman. Hence, why we need hence, better. Hence, why we need better women in society. It's like, hey, it's not often you go to work, do all the spa, and you come home and she's got her boyfriend in your bed. Oh, he's got a cold. You are. The only oh, human. there's five buckets of mail in your living room. That not buckets, trash cans. And she's like, "I'm working, working on what? Fraud, credit cards, checks. You name We're it." Not go down that path now. Oh no, he doesn't want to hear the truth. The truth oh, is, you couldn't right. handle it. Let's hear the truth. I don't want to talk about. It. Then why did you get it started? All right, let's try today. Let, let's We're, go. We, you still haven't des- described the uh, what the about best your pussy lips? What about your gaydar stuff you got going on? Oh, you have you don't have it. I know I don't. You do, because you just suck every dick you come across. Oh no, you, we just got banned again. I have it, so that way I know who to stay. You know, to be oh, stay, so what you? I know when to freaking you know put my hand over so, my ass. So what you're saying is that. You have this technology. Do you even know what it is? Wait, wait. You have this technolo- technology. You have this technology in your mouth to know when to suck a penis and not suck a penis, so you don't get called gay. <laughs> Which one is it? Is it is it the little penis and then you're not gay, and the big penis then you're all of a sudden you are gay? Which one is it? How does it work? I mean, you got hair on your face like it looks like a pussy anyway. So what the hell? What looks like a pussy? A beard? The beard and the mustache. That's what that, the guys like. How does that look like a pussy? Ask any gay guy. They seen the seventies, <laughs> porn films. <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. I am at a you, loss yeah. for words. And, and you watch now. next week. He's gonna be shaved clean again. <laughs> he's gonna get rid of the mustache and the beard. I am at a loss for words right now. He doesn't even have words. So, all right, we'll move on. Uh, How dare you? What about the choker neck upper ass? <laughs> oh geez, oh geez, we just Here got we banned go. again. There we go. Unreal. Uh, so, you, so you know, I was—you probably forgot. I was telling you a little bit about this. Oh, you earlier. had a girl with a choker on, and you did her in the ass. No, you know the girls that have. Oh wait, wait, we can't say ass. We have to say buttocks. We can say ass. So you know the girls—they're—they're they're called chokers. Like the little black, like elastic thing they put around their necks. It's not elastic. Like it's usually like accessory. a dog thing with spikes in it. It doesn't have to be the one with the spike. It could just be like the ones that are just like elastic, like a, like a cloth type of material. All right. Well, you did a different kind of girl. I did a different kind of girl. Okay, go ahead. I'm not fucking girls with dog dog collars on. No, that's fucking you and your bestiality bullshit you got going on. You probably you probably got her to walk you around on a leash and you used to freaking bark at strangers. I thought we were talking about your bestiality problem. That's your problem. I don't have problems. Yeah, you do. You're the one that wants to fuck girls with dog collars. It, it is called kinky sex. I don't know where you're getting this dog collar crap. You're the one that's brought up dog collars. I was talking about dog, the girl. Dog call. I can't even talk right now. Jesus. I was talking Christ. about the girls that you do. <laughs> what about the girls I do? You probably put a muzzle on her ass. We can't even have a Wait conversation a about a something that is sexual. Who's who's that guy that they put a, a mouth what thing on? What is wrong with you? Who's that guy named? Not Dahmer, but the other guy. In the movies with... Uh, you're talking about Hannibal. Yeah. So From you're Silence telling me, Lambs. so Silence of the Lambs, so you get a girl, you put that mask on, and then you do her. And that's Silence of Ryan. <laughs> All right. So if you're really bored over Thanksgiving, you just tune into Dictators. you got a good Thanksgiving going on there. And if you really get bored, you can always do soup to nuts. Well, my nuts are bigger than his, so... That's what I heard. I didn't see this. So, what else you got, Ryan? You've drained me. You have fucking drained me. I, I, I... He's lost of energy. 
Give the guy two beers, and, and any of you girls out there, you can manipulate him into any situation or position you want to. We cannot have any sort of a semblance of a conversation. Why would you want to have a conversation? Because we're on a podcast? Well, conversations are boring. You, you know, you got to step outside. You know, here's like this. Conversations <laughs> aren't boring. Watch this. Watch this. You got to step outside the box. So you are gay. Only part time. I like to stay in the box. Yeah, I left the three lock box, baby. Three lock box. Yeah, that's on a boat. What? It's where, it's where the pussy hides. I don't know. Yeah, I don't understand anything you're saying, Joe. I got I don't know what, what do you mean by that? Yeah, it's a hard story. I don't know what to tell you, son. What? I want to. I want to fucking study your brain. Like, what, what goes on inside that fucking brain? What? Like, what fucking? A goddamn hurricane of a storm, electrical storm is going on inside your head. Well, you know, it could be. Is it the drugs? When, it, when I was your age, yeah, I used to run around the town with a ten foot piece of copper rod when it was lightning storm. Sir, were you like this as a kid before you started doing drugs? Were you like this before you started doing drugs? Like what? Like fucked up in the head. See, here he goes again. He's picking on my deficiencies disabilities of life i'm serious though were you like this before you started doing drugs i'm trying to figure out if drugs fucked your head up i don't do drugs you have done drugs and yes you do do drugs you fucking smoke weed all the time no i smoke 420 it's the same shit it's the same fucking thing it's legal that's fine i got a prescription i'm just saying you do do drugs anybody want to bring 420 and smoke with me come on down especially your female males never mind you Ryan should, will smoke with you if you're guys. You should, <laughs> you should have said, I don't do drugs. I do I one don't. drug. I don't do any drugs. I do one drug. I don't even do Advil. You smoke weed. It's a prescription. Drug. No. It's a drug. ZX and ZGs, they all say it's not a drug. It's a fucking drug. Well, I know that, but they believe it's not. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What the fuck are you talking about? It all started. What? How? What? What the? What the fuck is that? I don't know. What the fuck is wrong with you? I need love. Are you delusional? Do, are, do you suffer from a mental illness? Do you want to hug me? No. <laughs> no. I bet you there's plenty of girls out there want to hug me. They, they don't either. They probably like to have some more on their vaginas. One day we're we're gonna have a vagina contest. You know, you know what I saw a long time ago, and this is going back like 20, 30 years. They had these girls doing orgies, and it was a record in the uh, what's that called? The, the record book thing. Guinness book. The Guinness book. Who fucked the most dudes in an hour? Like a gangbang. Yeah. And of course, you got to come to all right to be in the gangbang part. All right. Is this a, a good, healthy, well balanced woman? doing this i know she's well balanced as far as financials probably is this a good healthy well balanced mentally no this is probably a black widow or serial killer eventually so back to my original point wrap to bring this all the way back being a slut is a bad thing and it's not healthy it's possible but i always want my woman to be a slut in bed no, I'm not talking about being being freaky is okay. Uh, Getting a little uh, wild, but that's okay. A little wild or a lot wild? It depends on where your threshold, where you line that up. <laughs> <laughs> you're wild. <laughs> you're wild is fucking probably illegal. Well, as long, as long as you don't report it. <laughs> you're wild is, I'm well, well in the bet it's illegal. As long as you don't report it or put it on film. It's most likely illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, the Muslim girl is like, this is fun. And of course, then you have to be really aware of what happened. Do now, and then you have to get rid of them before they report you. Do you now understand why it's not good for a woman to have excessive amounts of sexual partners through her life? I do, but it's like I still don't see what a picking woman on that, them. What a woman that's fucked a hundred guys. Do you think she has the the uh, uh, po- she's ha- probable to have a good future with a good guy and live a be a good mother and a wife? 
No, because she's always and looking. have a healthy relationship. No, she's always looking for dick. That is exactly my oh, point. And, that and, is the problem. And the other problem with that is, like, besides the dick. So you finally it, agree it, with me. It's, it's, it's the vagina used to get money. And if I could get more money, I don't have to fuck him. Uh, what I'm going to do is, like, I'm going to have his babies, have the maid watch him, and I'm going to go out and fuck more guys in the bar that are 10, 20 years younger. Now, is that healthy and create a, a good family? And, and are the kids going to have a good mother? It's not my up? family. I already went in through general, this. In general, is that going to be? No, of course it's gonna not. Are kids going to have a good mother to bring them up and teach them right for wrong and, and, and put those kids in the right direction in life? Yeah, of course not. Look what happened to you. So, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're gay. Back to my original point. Oh, here he goes. Which point is that again? You get me confused. That a woman being a slut is not a good thing for her, for men, for society. No, not not for anybody calling her that either, though. I mean, but I, you got to call things what they are, though. You got to call something what it. If somebody's a murderer, you call them a murderer. You don't say, "Oh, that's a great guy." No, they're a murderer. <sighs> okay. Oh, are you are you going to stand up for murderers? No, don't call them that. Don't be mean to them. Well, you know what? Going back thirty years, forty years ago, is like you know what. They were probably whores. They were probably sluts. What is wrong with slut shaming? And, and, no, I'm just saying. You, I didn't see anything wrong with any of it. I enjoyed it. But you got not mad. But you got. A little, I didn't get mad. No, no, no. You didn't get mad at me. But you got mad a, at you. No, but you didn't get mad at me. But you uh, got. Don't slut shame them, Ryan. Don't say that. That's not nice, Ryan. But it is what it is, though. Like. Don't be a slut. I won't call you a slut. It's, it's that simple. Listen, any of you girls are interested in having this experience. If any, if any oh. sluts out there want a fun night, you want to have it. Hit your boys up. You, you want to have some sexual experience without the blue pills? You DM give me a us. call. DM us. Dictators. <laughs> Soup to nuts. We'll show you a fine evening. That's right. And if you're really lucky, a fine weekend. That's right. We'll even buy you shrimp cocktails and everything. Well, on that note. Of course, Ryan's follow buying me. it. Follow me. Follow him. Sure. Yeah, follow Ryan. There you go. I'll take you down the right road. Make sure to like. Like the damn video, damn it. Please. Comment. Share it. Tell your friends about us. Share it on your social medias, et cetera, et cetera. Help us. to my nuts. Follow me. Soup to nuts. S-O-U-P-E-D-T-O-N-U-T-S. On all the big social media platforms. If you want to get in touch with us, just DM us. We'll hit you back. And in the meantime, you can hit me up on Sluts and Nuts, and I'll do every one of them out there. Happy holidays. Don't be like Joe. I hope you have a Hanukkah hen. You stupid. Hey, you all have a good Thanksgiving. Will somebody please call. I'm hoping to get laid this weekend. I'm very lonely. I live in an old community, too. <laughs>